Okay, we're in the uh, right shoulder of a patient here. We're going to do a diagnostic arthroscopy showing you all of the major structures. So first of all, that's the humeral head, and then that's the glenoid. In the front of the shoulder here is the long head of the biceps tendon, which comes down and attaches here to the superior labrum. As you can see, uh, that's not normal. So she's got a superior labral tear. Uh, which involves the bicipital labral anchor complex over there. So that's a slap tear. And then if you look down here, this labral tear extends into the back. So obviously that doesn't look like normal labral tissue as it does sort of there. So she's got fraying and tearing that extends from the superior labrum all the way down the back into the posterior labrum. If you keep looking down into the inferior or axillary recess, that's the inferior glenohumeral ligament that looks like a wave that's about to break right there. So that's an intact inferior glenohumeral ligament. Then we come around here. That's the inferior labrum coming back up into the joint. You can also see there that the labral tear extends a little bit into the front over here. And then um, if we move anteriorly into this little triangle here, there you can see the subscapularis tendon, which is the rotator cuff tendon in the front of the shoulder. That looks okay to me. There's a little bit of fraying up here, um, superiorly of the subscap, but that overall looks okay. And then the last thing we want to look at here is the uh, rotator cuff. So if we uh, project our eyes upwards and then extend. So that is not normal rotator cuff tissue. And I would say that this looks like a high grade articular sided tear of the supraspinatus. And if we angle a little bit posteriorly, you're going to see the infraspinatus, which is over here. And then teres minor more towards the back. So overall, there's no full thickness tear, at least that we can see from the articular side of the joint. We're going to look from the bursal side in a minute, but that's a partial thickness articular side of tear of the rotator cuff. So a couple things we're going to do, we're going to make our portal here uh, through the rotator interval, which is this triangle in the front here. We're going to come in, we're going to release the biceps and perform a biceps tenodesis. Then we're going to clean up the, the uh, labrum here superiorly and posteriorly. We're going to debride the rotator cuff, get a better look to see if there is any uh, full thickness tearing. And then after we've done all the work in the joint, we're going to project the, uh, the arthroscope from the bursal side and look down on the rotator cuff from that side and do any work we have to do there. Uh, so that's a diagnostic arthroscopy of the shoulder joint. Uh, we're going to get to work here.